what is up YouTube? Hello guys, it's me Storminger, back again with a Watchers of Realms YouTube video. In today's video guys, as you can see on the screen, Gear Dungeon is now open guys. And I finally was able to clear stage 6. I wanted to show you guys what, how I cleared it. And uh, a big shout out and a thank you to War Guides. He helped me a lot. He puts out a guide today. It's a Valkyrie guide that we're going to be following today. Uh, it's really good. I, I It worked for me how it is guys so we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn off power of dominance because I want to show you guys how exactly this battle works for me and then we're gonna go into fight mode uh, so here it is guys uh, I'm using Valkyrie for the, the uh, top lane ish and then um, here I'm gonna show you guys so with Valkyrie her skills is really uh, unique because she consumes any shield the hero has at the, the present time when she ults and it turns to increasing attack range by one and it also uh, increase her attack speed increase damage uh, based on the strength of the shield so that's that's really really really, really gonna come in handy in a minute now I'll show you guys uh, how that works but she is currently in the Infernal War set um, here she is, her stats right here. Artifact, I'm currently using Realm Tier, and that's my damage dealer for the, the top lane. For the bottom lane, I'm gonna use a picture of Komet. Komet is gonna be the uh, main damage dealer for uh, the, the bottom lane. Here he is, uh, he, this is my Komet's build. And then Artemis, guys. Artemis is gonna be on the bottom as well to keep my team alive, as well as putting that anti heal, which he's known for, guys. That anti heal, which is so good. This is also my build, by the way, if you guys would like to see. And then Dolores in normal build with invigoration. I, I didn't change her. Um, here is my tanks. I just wanted to show you guys all the gear before we start because I, I, I often get uh, questions asked about the gear and stuff. So here it is. This is their stats. This is their artifact. Um, my vortex. Here he is as well. Just want to show all the, the members here and again guys special thanks to war guide is his guide helped a lot and then for um isode and raiden they're just there for the buffs guys let's get right into the battle everybody so first what i like to do is place my commit down first and here i go commit down into elowin for the invigoration everybody and then after this i'm gonna put my tank down i'm using it here and um, yeah, this should be able to hold the, the bottom lane with Artemis coming in to help the healing. So uh, Artemis' job is for the healing plus his anti-healing for the enemies for this wave specifically. And then, so we definitely need to put another tank down here. We need to put another tank and these five right down here is going to be able to take down uh, the bottom lane pretty easily, pretty comfortably. What we worry about, guys, is the top lane where it, it gets really um, it's messy on the top where we have to time correctly the Valkyra uh, damage. But I'll show you guys what exactly I mean here. Um, so in a second, I'm gonna go ahead, okay, slow this down uh, right now. Because uh, right now, I would like to go ahead and procure ultimate right now to start and then Vortex down first because I need him to get his ultimate rage up. And then what we want to do is Artemis, Komet, Elowin. And this should be just take down this uh, wave easily. We can uh, go ahead and fast forward now. We can go ahead and fast forward. So now Valk goes down. Valk goes down. But the problem with, with Valk is, guys, is that she is, uh, her range is not far enough to hit this lane, this bottom lane of the enemies. So what the strategy is uh, that War Guy showed us in this video is that when you uh, consume the shield of Vortex, her her um, her range gets improved by one, I think. And uh, you see right here, consumes any shield the hero has at present and increases the attack range by one. So that's what we're, we're going to be doing. Uh, the lore is down to help boost. Okay, now it's going to get rough. It's going to get rough because these these enemies come, guys, and. Right now, like I said, my Valkyrie is hitting the front, but not the back. So what we want to do is wait, wait for the ultimate here. Okay. So so she doesn't have a shield right now. We're gonna go ahead and shield her. She have a shield. Okay, we're gonna wait until she have a shield. Okay, she have a shield. Pop the shield. Pop the floors. And 
now we want to uh, okay so this should take care of this lane so this should take care of the top lane if I timed it right it should take care of the top lane and now we have to worry about the, the bottom lane where we do the exact same thing as earlier Artemis into Kemet but make sure I do it like together so you know they get the uh, anti-healing okay so now the, the top and bottom lane should be cleared and we're, we're done with the first part of the, the battle here um, now it's just rinse and repeat guys so we just do the same exact thing but this time it's going to be a little bit harder because my Valkyrie is going to start from zero uh, rage or not zero rage but like low rage here we have to build up the rage now and uh, so we have to wait for her to get her rage up it's basically what we're doing here but same exact strat everybody so what you want, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and ultimate with okay ultimate with this ultimate ultimate so now she consumed the shield and she's also getting the buff from Dolores as well so now this lane should be cleared as well and then now really really need to focus down in the bottom lane because this is like a whole multitask uh two battle in one in my opinion because you have to worry at the top and at the bottom at the same exact time and they did they come in a in a timing where it's really hard for you to do it if you do uh you really need to slow it down and like pause in between for this to work too it's, it's, it's crazy it's a crazy map uh, also guys this is a new content don't feel too bad if you guys can't clear it the first day you know it's oh wait wait are we gonna okay so we should be able to do this right what Dude, how how did he not die okay and we're back guys where we failed last time this time around we will be able to do this guys we're gonna go ahead and ultimate with our vortex here into the valkyrie and then we're gonna hopefully wait until dolores have her ultimate and go ahead and ultimate with uh, Dolores as well to kill this uh, wave of monsters. All right, what are these guys called? Uh, let's see, monster manual. Who are these guys? Uh, the twisted. Okay, I can't say the word. I, I I don't know how to say the word. But come on, guys, come on, let's go. Okay, ultimate here with Dolores. Boost up, boost her up. Okay, nicely done. They should be able to die here this time around. Okay, perfecto, perfecto. They're dead, they're dead this time. Let's go. Okay, now we can speed it up. We can speed it up because we're Gucci right now. Okay, so now we want to ultimate with uh, Rook here. We want to put Wooden Elf. We want to Artemis into Commit. And then, okay, so next wave is incoming. What we want to do is go ahead and do the same exact thing here. Uh, okay, we have enough. Okay, Vortex into Valk to consume the shield. Please. Okay, we're consuming the shield now. And we're gonna try to take this next wave down again. Uh, again, we're gonna use uh, Dolores this time. Everything's looking good. Everything looks looking good, everybody. Ultimate, please. Okay, nicely done. Nicely done. Okay, looking good we should be able to clear this wave out now easily good shit let's freaking go okay so right here what we're gonna do is go ahead okay this is the bottom lane this is looking tough guys the bottom lane is scary um, our two duo do not have their ultimate yet so hopefully let's ultimate with uh rook here So hopefully we can cycle through and have their ultimate soon. Wooden elf to help them. Okay. Um, okay, Artemis here. Artemis. Artemis into this. Please guys, please. I think this is the run. I think this is the run. Broke here. Okay, we do not have our ultimate with me. Valk yet. No ultimate with Valk yet. We need to take that down though. Okay. Ultimate with Elowin. Right here, we're gonna go ahead and ultimate with Vortex. Get the shield. Consume the shield. And then 
Dolores here, guys. Dolores here. Perfect. Perfecto. Let's go. It's looking so good. It's looking so good. Okay, come on. We still need to clear the bottom lane. The bottom lane is uh, one left. One left on that one. This one's being cleared. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it, guys. We actually did it. We did it. So now all I gotta do is speed this up and uh, fast forward because there's only one uh, enemy left and the combo will do. The combo will do this time around. Uh, go ahead and use Artemis into the Met and we just speed this up guys. Speed this up. Let's freaking go. I actually did it. I'm super super happy. I was able to clear this on camera. Stage 6 of this gear raid is now cleared. Like I said in the video today guys, I feel like this stage um, requires a lot of heavy uh, damage uh, dealer uh, gear, uh, really he heavy uh, on healers and uh, your tank. Your tank needs to tank, the healer needs to heal, and your damage dealer needs to do the damage. If not, you're not going to be able to clear it guys. And look at this, we're able to get, okay this is trash, and then this is, okay this is actually okay, good. Uh, here it is, the stats here. Commit the carry as always 49% damage the main damage dealer in the bottom lane uh, Valkyra the, the MVP of the top lane and then we have here the crow it's 26 million damage Artemis my guy with 6.7 million HP healed how is he gonna go in and heal more than my Elowin and does more damage than my Elowin uh, albeit I do know that Elowin gives you know uh, Wage region, but you know, Artemis is a great hero. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. I will <clears throat> thank you guys all so much for watching. I will end the video now and farm all the rest of my keys on stage six of this gear raid dungeon. I'm super excited to uh, see what I've got. Uh, hopefully, I get some of these nice unidentified red gear. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys good luck. I hope this video was able to help you. And yeah, till next time, guys. Please subscribe, please like, please comment, and see you next time guys, PEACE!